Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out the Little Mermaid Ultimate Ariel and Sister 7 pack so let's go. And before we start I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel so make sure you like subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Here they are and first of all this pack is huge I really get like giant packs and the biggest pack I've ever gotten is a 5 pack I think for the Harry Potter set. So this 7 pack is huge, and I'm glad that they also came with their original shipper box from Mattel. So this set retails for $100, and since you get 7 dolls with it, so I guess roughly each doll costs around $14.30, and considering that the basic Ariel doll also costs around the same with sculpted top and sculpted fin, so I think this is a pretty nice price point. The packaging is really neat with this big plastic window so it also acts like a great display piece for non deboxers. And on the back you get a stock image look at all the 7 sisters and it promotes the transformation doll on the bottom. And on the side you get giant flounder and I also love that this promotional shot of Hallie is wrapped around the box where you can also see the fins. Alright now it's time to get them out of the box. The sisters are actually displayed really nicely in the box in the packaging and I'm glad I also got a second set so I can keep that one as the display piece. Unboxing them was pretty simple because all they had was the tie in the head, one on the waist, and one holding the fin around the knees. And I am just glad that there are no plastic parts actually poking through the fabric parts of the fin, so there are no holes, thank god. <laughs> and they're out of the box. They actually look so good together standing like that out of the box, and the media thing I noticed is their sculpts are so good. They resemble so much to the actresses portraying the sisters and uh, I can't wait to get into the details so let's start off with our first sister, Tamika. The skull bears so much resemblance to actress Sienna King and I just love the face paint and I love her eye makeup, I love that green eyeshadow and like Hallie they all have this little shimmery vibe going on on their faces and I just love that. Her hair is super curly and there's actually a little hair net holding it together so I think for mine I'll just leave that because she looks good now and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> She's also one of the two sisters to be wearing a head accessory. For her it's like a little headband that is attached in her hair. For their tops I am glad that they're made out of fabric. It's a shimmery fabric with all these silver little dots so they kind of mimic the scales effects from the movie and overall I think they did a pretty nice job replicating the design patterns from the movies and directly printing them on the fabrics. Her tail color is this very saturated dark blue and her patterns are really cool. They make me think of lava of some sort. Her fin shape is pretty unique wherein it's not the traditional, you know, fins like split into two but this one giant piece that reminds me of a squid. The patterns are only printed on the front but at least the back side features a color that still coincides with their scheme. And I love the materials used for the fins because they're like this kind of thick weighty material, almost like rubber-ish but it's not rubber, it's still cloth but I don't know what that is. But the cool thing is that since they have weight, they flip really cool. You can really mimic the movement of tail flipping in the water so I love that. Next we move on to my current favorite sister in terms of design, Mala. But I'm not sure what my final thoughts will be once I've seen the movie and discover their personalities. Again, the sculpt is a stunning likeness to actress Carolina Conchat who plays her. And for the face paint, I kind of like that she has a smize going on. She's like, mm, I'm staring into your soul, sister. She is also the second sister to be wearing a headdress, in this case, a coral headband. Her hair is just black pulled back into this straight simple look and I feel like it's Saran. In the movie, she does look like she has a little bun or a bump on the top of her head. And I love her top because I love that little frilly bits going on for the sleeves, the straps, and also on the bottom. And she is also one of the three sisters who have the waist fins that I love. 
and the waist fins are made out of translucent plastic on the dolls. And her tail color scheme starts off with pink as it transitions into yellow with these little dots. And for the print on her actual fins, I love the color ombre effect. It reminds me of either the dawn or the sunset. And the tail flip -o meter 10 out of 10. Next sister is Karina. Face sculpt again, on point to actress Kasha Mohammer. At first, I thought she might have been a fashionista sculpt, but nope, the head stamp says 2022. I also love her hair, which is purple, and she got little gel bangs, and the rest of the hair is tied up in this high pony, with even a wraparound effect of her own hair. And then the rest is just in this little twisty loop kind of thing. So her hair could be Kanikalon, I'm not sure, but it does look like the hair that they also used on the unicorn goddess Barbie. Her top is a little funny because it kind of looks like a turtleneck underwater, but I still um, appreciate the effect that they're trying to pull off here because the movie look of her design is like this all over pattern on her body and with that blends all over into her skin as scales. And I think she is the most covered out of all the sisters because in terms of the lore, she is supposed to be the ruler of like the Arctic kind of sea where it's everything is freezing. So maybe that's the reason that she has so much stuff in the movie design. In terms of her tail, she is quite similar to Tamika's tail color, but Tamika is like more saturated and vibrant where she is more on the dark blue side. Again, I love the patterns on her tail and also on the fins itself. It looks like wavy, watery magicalness happening. And flipometer 10. Next sister is Perla. Okay, before we get into her face, I just want to point out that there is like an entire chunk of vinyl missing from her nose. And there's also this little bump under her eyes. For her face sculpt, you can definitely see the likeness of actress Lorena Andrea, but for the sculpt, she looks a little bit more older than the rest of the sisters. Maybe, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be, but you know, in that sense, she looks a little bit older than actual Lorena herself. For her hair, she has two-tone hair with this teal and black mix, which I actually really like. And it's interestingly styled. It's like two separate individual twists that are just tied at the bottom. I'm not really sure how it is in the movie, but it does look like she has like a French braid or a fish tail bone kind of braid but overall it does the job. I love her top because she have this rouged ruffle effect gathered in the middle. I don't know, I always love that effect because it mimics the lines of the shell bra from the classic movie. And she is the third sister to have the waist fins along with Mala and Ariel herself. Her tail is red with these white dots and I also love the pattern on her actual fins. I think the blue pattern contrasts with the red tail and I love it. In the movie actually, she also has like a skirt kind of fins happening at the waist and that's really cool I thought so I wish they would have replicated on the doll too. And of course Flipometer 10. And our next sister is Lady Bridger- oh sorry, Indira. <laughs> She's probably my second favorite sister right now because I'm partial to Simone Ashley and also because she is representing our region of Southeast Asia. So go girl. And I have to say her sculpt bears so much resemblance to Simone Ashley, even down to her iconic jawline. So it's stunning. And I love the face paint. I love the expression. Her eye makeup is actually really cool too. It's an ombre between gold and pink. Her hair is a nice saran of black with these yellow highlights and it's overall achieving this wavy look without any gel. For her top, I love that one shoulder asymmetrical um, bodice because it's obviously inspired by a sari and I just love that so much that culture is incorporated into it. And her tail is this shimmery gold and even the red patterns and lines and dots on her tail reminds me of the Hannah tattoo. And she got like really giant side fins that are too heavy for their own good. And her fin shape is also quite unique as in it strays away from that traditional tooth piece. Oh, and even at the very tip of her tail, there's this white section with ornate pattern. So I love that. flip -o meter she gets 11 because of her giant side fins. We're almost at the end, and our next sister is Caspia. 
She looks really, really sweet in terms of her expression and overall design. And her face sculpt from the front looks like it could be a fashionista sculpt, but on the side profile, you can definitely see actress Natalie Sorrell's likeness. And she got nice pastel pink hair. And there's also like really, really pastel silvers and purples mixed in there as well. And I actually really like her hair because I'm partial to pastel and also because she reminded me of Michelle Mermaid from Ever After High. Her top kind of looks like a normal kind of bikini, swimsuit, sports top. And also because her movie design is, again, one of those blending into the skin kind of effect. So they try to replicate that with the straps. The main color scheme of her tail is this pastel yellow, aided by these dots of blues and purples all together. And I have to say, I really like the way her actual fins flap because of the two giant pointy bits. It reminded me of the tail from Splash. And finally, last but not least, it's our sister, Ari. <gasps> of course, by this point, we already know and love the stunning iconic sculpt of Hallie. So overall sculpt and paint wise, she's pretty much similar, mostly identical to the rest of her other dolls. But I do have to say, I really love the hair on this doll. I love the, the fluffiness, the bounciness, and also the waviness of the locks. Of course, the unique thing of this Hallie from this pack is her fabric top with their frilly lace. And for the ombre effect, it's very tiny at the bottom and it's inching more towards blue rather than the green from the movie and her other dolls. She also got her waist fins and her waist fins are actually done with a translucent plastic on this doll, so that's also new. The painting pattern on the main part of her tail is the same. But it's the fins that we're going to talk about. So I love the fabric fin. I love that little lace bit. And even the pointy swirls. It mimics uh, the little tendrils she has in the movie. And I wanted any doll company to replicate that so badly. And I think they did a, a nice decent job here for a Playline doll. And of course, the two iconic flaps of her tail. I love the veiny details on there. It almost looks like the pattern that they would normally do on like fairy wings. And I love that they start off almost from the midpoints of her tail and it just kind of cascades down to this big giant flap. I love it so much. And she gets a 12 on the flipometer. Articulation on all the sisters, they move at the head, shoulders, hips, and the new thing on this doll is the knee or the mid tail joint. They can bend 90 degrees and also swivel 360 almost pretty much. It's really cool, I love that. So you can now pose them like they're sitting on the rocks. And the posing movement actually looks pretty decent and natural looking. So in a nutshell, this set is the bomb. I love it so much and I definitely think that it's worth the $100 price tag because you're basically just paying around $15 for fabric tops and also these articulated tails with these fabric fins. So I think that's a win in my book. And of course, not to mention, I'm gagged that Mattel gave us, like, aside from Hallie herself, like six brand new face sculpts. The likeness of these actors, it's just, oh, it's amazing. The only thing I would have wished differently is to have given them some creative hand poses. That's the only thing. I don't even want articulation in the arms that much. I mean, I, I do want it, of course. But, you know, even if it was static, I wish they would have given some creative hand sculpts that they can, I know that they can definitely do. Because they've done for, like, fairy dolls, like Mariposa also has those kind of hands. And, of course, the live-action Cinderella dolls, they also did those dainty princesses' hands. So, they can do that. So, I think it would have been so much better if they had, like, swimmy, swimming kind of hands instead of these kind of... <laughs> straight robot arms that would have really elevated the set to perfection so in a nutshell do i recommend this set oh i definitely do if you're a big fan of the little mermaid if you love the sisters if you love collecting celebrity <laughs> celebrity doll sculpts uh, this set is to go for it if hundred dollars is a little steep for you maybe you can try waiting for a sale then it'll be definitely be more worth it i can see a lot of people getting this set for simone ashley sculpt so they can do bridgerton customs Alright, that is it for my review on the Ultimate Ariels and Sisters 7-pack from The Little Mermaid by Mattel. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one is your favorite sister for the time being and let me know why. Also, have you gotten them? Do you love them? Or are you waiting to get them a little bit later? As usual, sound off in the comments. 
You can also check me out on Instagram at Jamie Creates for more toy photography because oh, I have created this really piece that I'm proud of featuring all the sisters. So check me out there if you could. If you enjoyed the video, you can thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. It'll really help out my channel. Once again, thanks so much for watching until the very end, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!